All right, so we have a nice cute little couple here, but um, doesn't seem to have a lower half. And wow, he's incredibly ripped. <laughs> That's incredible. And then below is a Geo dude. Oh. Oh, oh, I can't unsee it now. I can't. I have several questions about that. The first one being is how does he go to the bathroom? But maybe I don't want to know about that. And the second one is, um, does he get 50% off at the gym? Ah, yes! Cell! The PlayStation 5 Cell with the flaps up top. It works so well with the DualShock controller there. I... Mmm, I... It's so good, but it's so bad at the same time and it hurts me. I think there's been leaks of the PlayStation 5 prices, finally, of it being... $500 um, and then $400 for digital only. So I assume no Blu-ray player or anything like that, which is, I'm not sure how I feel about digital only. The PS Stashio. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I mean, anime people are gamers too, right? And as gamers, we get hungry. You might as well eat your system that cost you four hundred or five hundred dollars. <laughs> That's the real hunger. We have some bro at the beach with some VR goggles, and below is all the anime waifus having a good time. Oh man, I love going to the beach. <laughs> Such a pretty, pretty view. To be fair though, if there was an app that was able to bring those anime girls right in front of you as you are at the beach. I probably would do a let's play of that. We have ourselves a Naruto cat just sitting up on its pole overlooking the scene. <laughs> and then we have a dog that got dragged across and he got punched all the way. <laughs> Dang, that cat just destroyed that dog. If a cat was really that powerful, I would imagine all your drapes in the house would be utterly destroyed, all the pots tipped over and it would just Oh, I couldn't even imagine the litter box. So we seem to have Toph at the wheel. That's a pretty good cosplay, but wait. Wait, is it Toph blind? Oh, oh no. I mean, I know that she's capable of seeing with her feet, but are her feet capable of traveling to the ground? <laughs> she's capable of, I don't know. Imagine having eyeballs in your feet. That's just kind of weird. Okay, that has to be the best cosplay that I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it works well for anime. <laughs> That's amazing, actually. That is a five head cosplay. I'm not gonna lie. Now the thing is, I know like YouTube has the thing about blurred nudity, but when it's not really nudity, but it's blurred <laughs> by the cosplayer, is that the same thing? I don't know how- it, oh god. So some anime mouths of how they look and if you photoshop them in your life you have like the weird tooth set up there and then her mouth closed and it's yeah it's just like it's missing part of the lip and then to the side it's like hey how you doing and then when it's really closed it's ah Oh, that's so bad. Yes, I realize that anime characters do not actually function like real people. Like when in the front, the nose is gone. Like where, where does the nose go? Where are you hiding it? <laughs> it just goes into the face. Just PlayStation 5 and then the Xbox. All right, black and white. Okay, I get it. I, I do get it. Have any of you got the new Sword and Shield DLC? Well, I hope not because I think it's actually trash. I enjoyed Pokemon Sword and Shield, but the DLC is actual garbage. I I do not like it. It's so boring. Ashley literally beat it in three hours. <laughs> like, I, she beat it in three hours. Some cave that looks out into the, the moon there. That's kind of cool. It just kind of looks like an eyeball there. And then wait. <laughs> okay. All right, that's that's pretty good. Speaking of Undertale, I may be having a special uh Undertale let's play in the works featuring some very special guests. All right? So, look forward to maybe some of that action coming soon. It's anime, right? 
A lot of you guys always beg me to play it anyway. So we have Freddy Mercury and Sailor Mercury, okay? And then we combine them, we have Sailor Freddy Mur Mercury. <laughs> And he looks fabulous as all heck as he sings. Oh, man. You hit those notes, you queen. The fact that that head actually fit on that figure is remarkable. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, and I think that's just a work of art. So we have a, a girl from the swim club. I think that's from Amagi, but not entirely sure. And then below, we have an advertisement to McDonald's where it's you're just getting some uh, coffee. I see. Coffee. <laughs> oh, gosh. The placement of that ad is remarkable. It's not often that you see advertisements on, like, YouTube that align so well with the video. I'm still curious of what kind of advertisements I get on my video. What do you guys see? Please tell me. I'm curious. Leave it in the comments. So we have a dog who's on his leash. A uh, little husky boy. And he's getting pulled and tugged. And it's the Yarenaka face. Oh, it's... It's the masochist door face! The fact that that face works so well, and the dog actually likes getting tugged. I don't know. I don't want to think the dog likes getting tugged like that. I don't... I don't want to like a masochist darkness dog. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so we have Star Platinum. Uh, and he seems to be facing off against... Dia. <laughs> Dia. Go! And the, the man's just opening up his store right there. He's actually a store called Dio out there. Oh, boy. Now, the question I have there is that man just near a cosplay convention and he just happened to find a store named Dio? Or did he actually dress up and go to that specific location just for that meme picture? The second one being a little more impressive. So we have a nice little playful twirling little daughter. It's so cute. But wait, who's taking that picture and it's... Oh, it's... You're my champ! <laughs> Swinging around with his ex... No way, I got this! Easiest way to take a picture right there. No big deal. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Though, to be fair, if Machamp was swinging me around, I'm more afraid he's gonna seismic toss my butt halfway across the cotton and give me how strong he just ripped my arms right off. <laughs> I'd be really scared. And so we have uh, the Alola Diglets with a, I say, hey, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. All right, that's that. That's great. Speaking of the Pokemon DLC, there's a little feature in it where you have to find 150 Diglets scattered throughout the island. And Ashley spent a long time looking for them, and she was complaining, spending hours looking at videos, finally getting them. And then realizing that the last remaining two that she was spending hours trying to find, she could have just gone to a sign which would have told her where she was missing the other. <laughs> she was really angry. In Queen Square, there seems to be a long line of Pikachus just doing the little cute thing that they usually do. And at the end seems to be a Mimikyu wanting to join. Wanting to join. So sad. Now, I'm honestly curious if that is just another staff member is something in there or if that's a cosplayer. Because now I'm really curious. If that's a cosplayer, that's that's a really good joke. Is that a Bobby Sailor Moon tattoo? Oh, I don't... I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't... I don't know about that one, Chief. I mean, it's a great conversation starter, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, that's permanently on your body. Um, I mean, technically, Sailor Moon and King of the Hell has lasted a long time, but man, I don't... It's gonna be hard explaining that one later on. Anyway, that's where we're gonna end our little blurst image escapade there. I hope you all had a fantastic time. Um, I think I forgot to do an intro, I just went straight to memes. Maybe it'll work out this time. <laughs> I don't even know. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for some more quality stuff. And I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother. Yeah.